Hey guys, so uh, welcome to my channel. This is me drawing the beautiful Michelle Nichols, uh, better known as Lieutenant Uhura from Star Trek. Uh, this image itself was uh, put together by a series of reference uh, photos from uh, the ever popular uh, episode uh, uh, from the Mirror Universe of Star Trek, Mirror, Mirror. Uh, I believe it was on Season 2, Episode 4, um, uh, for all those Trekkies out there. Uh, I myself, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, pretty well-versed in Star Trek lore and knowledge. Uh, I watched uh, several reruns of Star Trek. Um, awesome on... Throughout the years, I've at least watched uh, the full season, the original, uh, all the way through at least twice, if not more times uh, than I can count. Uh, but this series, uh, this particular uh, episode, Mirror Mirror, actually came out in October 1967, uh, you know, uh, well before I was born. But uh, it's still very, very popular and very uh, well known. Um, one thing in particular, uh, Nichelle or, or Lieutenant Uhura, um, she's just beautiful in this episode. She, she actually uh, shows her abs, you know, and and, and her fitness. Um, she's always worn beautiful makeup and and beautiful. Uh, tight hairstyles and, and things like that and uh, I love doing it right now you can see me uh, starting to, to to highlight her, her makeup and her eyes uh, blackening in her hair uh, uh, going darker and darker and I, I blend that out with a uh, uh, just a regular acrylic brush that uh, I just don't care for anymore. I, I have a couple brushes that I use throughout this photo, just uh, taking those uh, Carbothello pastel pencils and kind of just blending them all together. Um, I also use a really dark, uh, what do we call it? It's, it's one of my favorite dark color pencils. It's uh, called a, a Rembrandt charcoal uh, pencil. It's a little line, line, Lyra, Lyra. Uh, I'm not sure the pronunciation, but it's a Lyra, Lyra Rembrandt pencil. Uh, it's one of the darkest pencils that I've came across and actually was uh, I, I watched a couple of videos, um, and I, I follow one of the, uh, the artists here on YouTube. Uh, his name, he's a popular wildlife artist called Jason Morgan, and he, he uh, has a video kind of reviewing the darkness of pencils, and this, was, this pencil in particular was one of the ones that he rated as one of the darkest that you could find. Uh, and I also go in and, and try to blend as much as I can with a uh, China paper uh, pencil. And now I'm going in with a Presto highlighter, white highlighter, um, and kind of highlighting the, uh, the panels and, and, and uh, little... And then I'm... Uh, Obviously, I, I'm going in with a mechanical pencil and kind of going in uh, real fine details in the hands and the and and whatnot. I I blend and uh, you know I put several layers on top of this picture. I, you know I I don't I didn't really count the layers as I went, but I was just trying to get her skin tone exactly right, and I. I you know, I kept on layering and layering, adding to it. I didn't want to get it too dark, you know, um, uh, but uh, I did want to kind of, you know, make sure that I got her uh, skin tone correct in this film. And, uh, you know, as you can see, uh, 
got a piece of wax paper underneath my hand. I tend to rest my hand on the paper and, and on my desk quite a bit as I'm drawing. Um, it's just something I've never um, stopped doing. I, I try to, I, I'm more aware of it now than I have been in the past, but uh, I, I just, uh, I probably will always do it. And then uh, I'm going in here, uh, you know, with a, a couple of different reds uh, outlining the skirt uh, and the gold sash uh, that she's wearing. I use a ru I use several rulers uh, in this picture, uh, um, you know, because there's a lot of straight lines with the mechanics of the 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 panel behind her and and uh, I just wanted to make sure that I get those straight lines uh, you know joke <laughs> artists joke around uh, and I've always kind of joked that I, I can't draw a straight line to save my life and uh, you know that's certainly the truth I I'm just not very uh, good at drawing straight lines so I need I always need that kind of little guideline going on this right side I kind of struggled with a, a little more in the in one of the uh, uh, reference photos um, you know I, there's a lot of extra like buttons and panel you know and stuff behind her and I just decided not to add it in uh, and another thing that I loved adding on to uh, was her abs uh, and, and her uh, uh, physical f physique uh, in this portrait. She's very fit um, in this episode, and you know, and you can really see that in her costume and you know, uh, in the two-piece outfit that she's wearing. She's you know, she's real fit. One of the, the main reasons why I came up with this concept and one of the reason why it's the main reason why I started drawing this is because I'm actually going to attempt to see her at WizardCon uh, coming up here in April in Portland. Um, uh, she's supposed to be appearing uh, throughout the weekend, and I've got tickets. And uh, you know, I considered actually, uh, you know, paying for signing and, and things like that. I, I haven't decided if I'm going to, you know, like, actually try to uh, see her in person and have her sign this piece or not, but I, I think that would be an awesome thing to do. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think uh, that would be worthwhile? Uh, hopefully, I can get some video and short footage uh, of the event. Uh, I've never actually done that type of event blog. Uh, um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really... You know, speaking in public uh, in that type of uh, setting is, is, you know, it's, it's really, you know, talking to myself into my phone. I'm not, I'm not sure if I can do it, but uh, you know, I might attempt to do it. Who knows? Uh, but uh, you can see right now I'm going in with the gold sash. Uh, and it was really hard to get this gold styled color. Uh, and with the sash, um, I think I did a fairly decent job, but, uh, um, if you guys know the episode, know the, know the, the wardrobe in that, uh, that, there's, you know, several characters wear the sash style, uh, gold, um, uh, <clears throat> one thing as to note, uh, you know, about Michelle and uh, the Star Trek uh, and, and the beauty behind it is um, not this episode, but an episode in the next season called uh, Plato's Stepchildren. Uh, um, Lieutenant O'Hara or Nichelle uh, had the first on-screen interracial kiss uh, with Captain Kirk, uh, uh, William Shatner, you know, for all intensive purposes, but, uh, you know, and even Martin Luther King uh, uh, 
uh, enjoyed uh, Star Trek and and did comment, you know, specifically on that episode and and how much of an impact it had uh, on the world uh, as we view it and things like that. Just right there, you saw me kind of debate on whether to put the act, uh, background in. And now I'm just putting a final touch. I, I added uh, her symbol, her communication symbol uh, at the last minute. And this is a symbol that she wears uh, on her you know, breastplate on, on her normal uniform uh, just to kind of fill in that blank space. I did leave that blank space uh, down at the bottom left uh, in case I do get a signing uh, from her. Um, you know, it, it would be a big highlight to, to get something like that done. Uh, so we'll see. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this piece. Uh, please like, comment, and share. If you do, uh, uh, make, uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, I'm just trying to get better and better content as I go on. Um, I'm, you know, I'm slowly getting better at editing and lighting uh, for these pictures. Uh, I apologize uh, about the lighting in the beginning. Uh, some of the lighting in my normal office isn't that great. But uh, thank you for watching, everybody. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And uh, big hugs.